Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to Welcome to Change. Sorry for that weird intro. I'm trying to lighten the mood because what I'm about to show you is not going to lighten your mood. Please make sure you're not eating any food. Put down the snacks and hold it down. Here we go. I hope I don't get copyrighted for this music. I probably am. So what we're going to do is play some music in the background for you. I'm gonna play that music though. This is a little bit lighter. I guess this will work. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna turn it down quite a bit. All right, let's watch. You know what, it's, it's not gonna work. We get copyrighted, I'll just mute it in the video. But you guys who are watching this now will get to see it. If you guys are watching this afterwards and you're not hearing anything, just know that I muted it because of the copyright. But for now, here we go. This is a 12 year old boy, if I didn't mention that already. This is a 12 year old boy dancing in drag. There's a grown man throwing money on a child. How disgusting. Listen, and I can understand the art of this if he wasn't being sexual. If this was just a young man who was 12 who was just dancing to a song and let that all this, this boot wearing and all this sexual stuff I'd be cool. Like breakdancing, that'd be cool to watch. But this? Disgrace. And I understand. And see what these kids are doing. They're expressing themselves through music. I've done that growing up. But what has been taught to us is the only way to express yourself through music today is to be sexual with it. And you just don't have to do that. Us adults don't have to um, throw money. And you're throwing money at the child like they're a stripper. Like that is not the way to express yourself. That's foolish and disgusting. One thing that is a pet peeve of mine, this is, has nothing to do with this video, but when I watch people dance, it is so annoying. To, it's just like when you when I was growing up and I used to go to like church camps and stuff, it used to be so annoying to, when a preacher was talking and they'd be like, um, and God says that you need to love yourself. And you could barely hear the preacher because every four or five minutes it would be uncontrollable clapping and you'd have to wait two or three minutes for it to end and it's even worse when you get stuff like this with dancing because my best friend was a dancer at one point and this is how it goes like you're dancing in every move you do people don't know where to cheer i'd rather just say wait till the performance is over to cheer just let them do their thing because when you're Woo, let you ready, let you. it's just annoying it's like i can't enjoy it because i have no idea what part of the dance you actually like because you're clapping at random moments he literally just walked across the stage and y'all are like, oh, wow. Anyway.
He's probably gonna go back there and cry. That boy probably went back there and cried. He's like, what am I doing with my life? These these young adults are throwing money at me and I'm 12. He probably doesn't realize that yet though. He'll realize that when he's 18 years old and he's depressed. Uh, just being honest, you know, if, he, if that was a little girl dancing and there were a grown men or grown adults throwing money at her, what do you think that's telling her about life? One, what does it tell the, about the young man that your validation is through your sexuality, right? You dancing up there, not your sexuality, but through your sexual dancing. So if you're sitting up there, you're dancing around sexually, you're throwing your legs up in the air, showing your crotch, and adults throw money at you, they're thinking that that's a good thing. Be more sexual. That's a disgusting thing to teach a child, don't you think? Once again, if that was a little girl doing the same thing, we see little girls do this in drag. Even though drag is normally for men or boys, girls sometimes get in drag. And so sometimes you'll have a little girl up there doing the same thing, just like we used to see at those beauty pageants, right? We used to see little kids up there dancing, being sexual, and we're just like, yeah. You know, when I was growing up, I remember the same thing growing up when I was in high school, seeing little girls. Obviously, I was up with the boy. But when I was in high school, these the cheerleaders would always would do these sexual dances to the point where it got so bad that they actually quit doing the sexual dances because there was such an uproar from the students. Like, us students would go to the cheerleaders and be like, Man, do y'all always have to shake y'all's butt cheeks? I mean, it is a little bit absurd. They actually calmed it down. At least that's what I remember. I could remember completely wrong. But what I remember, I believe their dances got a lot less sexual by the time I became a senior. But that's just what happens, man. Every little kid gets sexualized like this, and they think it's, like, cool and something we should cheer on when we should actually discourage it. If a kid wants, if a grown adult wants to dance sexually like that, okay. Do I think it's still cool? No. But you know what? I can't. We can't stop everything, right? But in this case, yeah, bad. Watching a young man give away his life to dance sexually in front of adults and get money thrown at him, what are we doing? Ask yourself that. Would you throw money at a child who's dancing? He, he's throwing his legs up in the air. You can see his crotch area. Am I supposed to be like, yes, you're, you're, you're doing great, knowing that I'm ruining my son's life or I'm ruining this young man's life by even validating this? You know who's pushed them into this, right? The other drag queens, the other grown men who are like, yeah, you do it. And you know what drag queens are? In a lot of cases, some people may think they're just like a Ronald McDonald, right? Just clowns that go around and just entertain. But a lot of them do sex work. Mm -hmm. They do sex work. Like, what do you think a drag queen is? Like, what do you think? Why do you think everything they do is mainly sexual? You remember the videos I made back in the day of the the big sexual thing that was going on in Tennessee before they really got cracked down on it. They were literally upstate showing fake breasts and having the guys hump each other and they were just shaking their booties. It was absolutely absurd. What do you think drag queens do? Why do you think everything they do is normally sexual in nature? Even the people who are drag queens who are against going to kids stuff, they'll tell you if you go to a drag queen show, it's going to be raunchy and it's going to be debauchery. Okay. There's going to be some drinking. There's going to be some sexual stuff. It's going to be lewd. The drag queens will tell you that. So what do you think they do? You think they're just performers? They're clowns that go around and juggle? No, they're not. They, they do sexual stuff. They dance sexually at shows for a reason. That's what they do. They sex workers at the end of the day. Anyway, so why would you encourage a little 12-year-old boy to do stuff that is considered sex work in the adult world? Hey, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. All right, I'm going to take 